Hello. So, uh, I've been brewing with a SS Brewtech brew bucket for a year or so now. Um, hundred odd pounds UK sterling uh, from the malt miller. Great bit of kit. Uh, entry level stainless steel. Good upgrade from the plastic fermenter. Uh, finally decided to invest in Seven Gal SS Brutech Chronicle. Unboxing looks pretty smashing. Got the uh, the regular 1.5 uh, valve on it, not the butterfly. Uh, the butterfly is an open and close job. You get some control uh, with these that you don't get on the butterfly valve. Um, there's some other videos elsewhere on YouTube showing um, certainly with the butterfly valve if you want to do a good uh, solid trub or yeast dumping um, with a butterfly valve it recommends getting one of these and a side glass so I opted for this I haven't gone for the I didn't go for the uh, brewmaster edition um, mainly because it's an extra £140 that's quite a lot of money you can nearly get yourself another brew bucket for that price um, uh, plus the 140 150 quid gets you uh, the internal chilling coil uh, fantastic if that's what you want to use but to use that you either need to set yourself up with a glycol chiller uh, buy one from Brutech at another £1000 plus um, plus hoses plus glycol um, and I haven't got that sort of cash uh, to invest on this sort of kit not right now anyway maybe sometime but not right now so for an extra 140 quid you get the butterfly valves as expressed already uh, I feel the butterfly valve is an on and off valve you don't get the various levels of uh, control as you do with this says I not being able to open it so there you go, if you only want to be an open that far, you get that. You don't really get that with a butterfly valve. Anyway, I diverge slightly. The uh, On first inspection, the box is, as you would expect, uh, svelte, almost as you get with uh, Apple products. Um, lovely and shiny. Um, the box itself, beautifully designed. The kit itself comes out. Uh, the stainless on first inspection looks gleaming. Um, everything seems to be going well. However, then you have a little look and you find this label here. Um, try and take that label off. And it appears to have been stuck on with one of the stickiest substances known to man. That one's still on because this is my second. I'll get to that. This is my second unit. I'll get to that in a minute. Whoever decided that they were going to put this label on uh, to a mirror polished stainless steel product needs a hard slap. That is ridiculous. No need for that to be on the product at all. A little warning label not stuck to it, that would work. If it was stuck on the outside of this plastic bag, that would also work. Why they've put it on the body, I don't know. It could be on a leg. It could be on the inside of a leg. Um, down the outside... Uh, of the FV here, you, you can't see it um, through the through the camera. There's some chatter on the stainless itself uh, on one of the legs here. Might be able to see. It. Scrape marking all the way down the leg. find the chatter marks there you are just there it's faint there but you can see them that's not going to polish out that's ingrained in the stainless itself the port has a chip on it uh, and that's not actually why I decided I was going to do this review. So, uh, 
this all comes off. Handy little bit of kit there. Now, have a little look at that port and you'll see that some of the port looks to be correctly cleaned and some of it's dirty up here. That's leftover carbon from the welding process and you can see some of that around the welds itself. However, up here That is failed welding. So just up in that back corner, you can see the little lip right in the middle of the image. Um, about 3mm in from the back end of the outlet port, you can see uh, there's some cracking. It's not actually, it's not actually cracking in the material, that's the join between the outlet port itself and the outer body uh, of the vessel. As the port is offered up there are various stages of welding uh, that come around the edge of this port um, and that inside surface should be mated, that should be welded, closed, uh, it should be polished, uh, ground polished, uh, quality uh, checked, um, verified uh, I believe all of these vessels are pressure tested to make sure when they leave they can hold I think the, I think it says on the website four to five times in structures limits so this says two psi max this vessel vessel can hold for pressure transfer that would suggest eight to ten psi this has undergone uh, already um, now as I've mentioned there's a couple of problems with this lots of scratching um, lack of cleaning certainly the cracking uh, in there or the cracking is not the correct word uh, poor quality welding uh, and some chipping here this cost 350 pounds sterling that's a lot of money um, this is my second one of these the first one had exactly the same issue as this does it was um, poor welding at the 12 and the 6 o'clock position this shows it at approximately uh, 7, 11 and 4 uh, however the one that I tried to show you albeit poorly is at the 7 o'clock position um, overall the quality is good it appears to be good but those things certainly that should never have left the factory in my opinion the fact that I've now, uh, I'm now on my second unit the first one was from the malt miller Rob uh, straight away so within five minutes um, gave me a refund on the first one I had that collected didn't have a replacement so I needed to get a second unit from uh, Brew UK um, this arrived yesterday I've unboxed it in the last five minutes gave it a quick one, one look over to see if the same issues were arising and yes there it is uh, I'm not sure if SS have anything to say for themselves on, on, on the subject to this uh, if it was my product, I would be very worried that I was releasing a unit to market that has that sort of failure in quality control on it. Um, SS are revered uh, in, the, in the homebrew industry as one of the best you can get. I certainly don't think that should be leaving the factory like that. I thought it was worthwhile showing you guys and uh, bear this in mind when you're going to make a purchase. So after the problems I had with the Chronicle, I decided to send SS Brewtech an email describing uh, my experience, what had led up to me purchasing two Chronicles, what I saw as the failures um, in the engineering process and the failures in the QC, uh, QA system. Got an email back which I think I'll share with you. Thank you for reaching out, I appreciate all of the feedback here, I'm really sorry to hear you had this experience with our products. I will be taking these photos to meetings with engineering and with the product teams. 
Whilst I don't have an answer on how these two units have slipped through our QA, QC teams, here is some information I can share with you. Recently we've hired some more staff for our manufacturing side QA, QC teams. I know that doesn't resolve the issue you have had, but any weld errors will be able to be addressed in a much more productive way to eliminate things like this from ever reaching you, the end user. Additionally, since these are two separate distributors and they purchase gear on different intervals slash shipping containers for manufacturing, these are likely to come from different batches. That doesn't change your experience, but maybe outlines how two Chronicles could have had an issue like this. We will be in contact with them over these as we take this kind of thing very seriously. Again, I really do appreciate you taking the time to voice your concerns with me and I hope there is an opportunity in the future for our brand to restore some confidence in your eyes. Uh, so I just wanted to touch base on that briefly. Uh, I like the fact that they've got back in contact with me because I, in this case, represent the end user. Um, I have loads of faith in the brand, or had loads of faith in the brand. They've got a brew bucket, um, the, the Brewmaster edition, albeit there isn't many bells and whistles on that. I think this is a fantastic piece of equipment. Um, it's the first step into the stainless steel market. You've got the cone base on it, 60 degrees. Really helps with uh, trub. Sampling, port, thermal well, etc. Brilliant, fantastic piece of equipment. Couldn't fault it any engineering wise. There's nothing to improve on it. I think it's brilliant. You want to step up to something like this. Uh, at SS Brewtech, describe the Brewmaster version of the Chronicle as an extremely well designed and well built product that is equally at home in a commercial or nano brewery just as it is in the garage or kitchen. Engineering better beer. That's what we do. When you get stuff like this, I mean the leaflet itself is fantastic. You know, you get a couple of little coasters. It just adds to it. That's it's nice. But all that's additional stuff to make your experience better. If the product's crap, then that doesn't mean anything. That's just waste, it's just gonna go straight in the bed, straight in the bin. From touching on what they said in the email, the two Chronicles that I've had, one from Malt Miller, one from Brew UK, will have been bought from different batches because they are from different suppliers. That says that this is an ongoing issue. It's not a one-off issue. This hasn't just been a from this day to this day. This is something that must have been going on for an extended period of time. So that makes me think how many of these products are on the market that have this issue in them. That means if you have a, a Chronicle, be it a Brewmaster edition or the base, then potentially you've got weld failures in your outlet ports or indeed your truck dump ports. Um, is anything going to happen about that? Well, probably not. Not unless you go and inspect your product and you find out that you've got a weld fault and then you kick off to SS Brewtech. But if you're happy with it, you're happy with it. At the end of the day, is something going to go wrong? Possibly not. There's a slight weld deficiency, weld error. It's not been picked up in the QA. It should have been, considering they all come in with a stamp on them that says they have been QA'd. That means someone's just going through the process of sticking a, uh, sticking a sticker on it. That means there, if there is a QA, they're not QAing that, er that area. Um, has it put me off SS Brutec in the short term? Yes, yes it has. Um, I've been in contact with Spike Brewing to see if we can get them in the UK. They're still not distributing uh, internationally. I've touched base um, with Stout Tanks. Uh, they do distribute to uh, Europe and indeed international. I'm possibly going to get one of those 7 gallon um, Chronicle fermenters to replace this. However, in the short term, I've run out of time to be able to put another beer on, uh, which is the purpose I wanted this for. Uh, I'm going to be back out of the country again for another couple of months, so this isn't just a, a one-off experience for me, this is this is something that I'm not going to be able to replace in the next five months. So I, sh I, I wanted to put two beers on, I had all of the stuff to be able to do that, so I'm not going to be buying SS Brewtech in the near future. I'm hoping that I'm going to see some more good things online, on forums, but for me posting the experience that I've had online, Quite a few of you have come back and said that you've had bad experiences as well, uh, so I thought it was worth base, touching base with SS Brewtech and you know sharing that experience with you guys. All the best, keep on brewing.